guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make a really moist and soft carrot sponge cake so here's a run through of the ingredients full list of the ingredients are down below in the description box so take a look at that make sure you've got everything that you need there's a lot of people out there that are allergic to nuts obviously you don't need to put the pecan nuts in your recipe this is all additional and i also put in raisins as well because i like them but i know a lot of people don't like them first of all we're going to start off with all of our dry ingredients in one mixing bowl so we've got our flour a little bit of bicarb soda baking powder and then our spices such as allspice nutmeg cinnamon i think that covers most of them i find it a lot easier to wear all of my ingredients beforehand so as you can see i've already grated my carrots and i've weighed out all my sugar and all that kind of stuff so definitely do that beforehand just get yourself prepared and know that you've got everything around you ready to go give all your dry ingredients a good mix around make sure it's all incorporated and evenly distributed so in another bowl you want to start mixing all your wet ingredients i started off with my egg of course you can do this by hand i choose not to because i don't need to but a stand mix is a lot more helpful and a lot quicker got our vanilla essence chocolate in our eggs and mix that around a bit just to get some air into it go in with our brown sugar so throw that bad boy in there and keep that mixing and try not to be like me make a mess obviously if you've got a spoon just use a spoon it's a lot easier than trying to use the bowl throw it in it all in so you just want to keep mixing this until you can see that the sugar is pretty much dissolved or that it all looks like it's together next we're going to go in with our oil and splash that in there keep it mixed on a low setting really really helps to keep that cake really nice and moist so of course use oil of your choice i think in this one i should just use like sunflower oil or something like that but you can use like coconut oil or oil of your choice going in with some nuts Again, if you're not a fan of raisins you can definitely leave this bit out i just chucked in a few raisins because i like the sweetness that it brings to the cake Coming up next is the star of the show, which is our carrots. So, just going to chuck um, the whole lot in there and get that mixing together. What you want to try and do is mix your wet ingredients as much as it needs before you add your dry ingredients because once the dry ingredients are in there you don't want to give it like too much of a mix in that makes the cake really tough but we want ours to be light and airy so do the majority of your mixing with the wet ingredients honestly guys you can't smell it now but it smells so good with all the cinnamon the nutmeg i think i added a bit of ginger in there as well and obviously the fresh carrot oh mate So what we're going to do now is start sifting in our dry ingredients in hindsight i would have moved the mixing head thing just make it a lot easier when i'm sifting but obviously choose to do it how you want just make life as easy as possible for yourself and i'm going to start off by sifting in half of my dry ingredients give that a little bit of a mix then sifting in the rest of it
that's how it's looking with half of the flour and dry ingredients mixed in so now i'm just going to throw in the other half well not throw it in i'm going to sift it in the other half of the dry ingredients and then give that another good mix once again you don't want to over mix this we want our cake to be light and airy and fluffy so don't over mix it I've got this cute little baking cake tin from my auntie so I just used that because I thought it'd look nice as a little showpiece but obviously use a square tin or a round tin whatever you've got at home it will work you don't want to overfill it so maybe do it three quarters of the way put this bad boy into the oven for I want to say 35 minutes and then I'll go in and check on it with a little stick just to make sure it's fully cooked all the way through here we have it, our freshly baked carrot cake. I'm just gonna pop a little stick in there just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. If the stick comes out clean, then you know that the middle's cooked. We don't wanna overcook it, still want it to be all dry and crusty. We want it like soft and moist and light, so. That was my favorite bit is the decorating. Honestly, when I tell you, trust the process. I had no idea of what this cake was gonna come out like, what kind of design I was gonna do in it. But I thought, look, I know I've got icing, I know I've got nuts, pecan nuts. Let me just freestyle and try and make this look cute. So I decided I'm gonna cover this whole thing with icing. Um, I'm gonna go for the rustic look. I don't want it to be like super smooth. I want it to be edges and like dips and peaks on there. So just roughly ice it. Do what you can. My, my icing skills are not that great, but in the end we still made it look cute. I made my icing off camera for to record, but it's really, really easy. You want unsalted butter and icing sugar, and that is literally what it's made of. these pecans on top just to obviously make it look cute but to add to the portion control as well so for each slice of cake everyone gets a fair bit of pecan guys don't be like me um, when you're doing this, please put a plate or something below so you can catch the fallout from the pecans. It was something I didn't think about. And here she is, our finished rustic looking carrot and pecan cake she looks good like and she tastes even better i'm gonna cut a slice in a little while so keep on watching how soft and moist that looks you can see all of the carrots evenly distributed all the nuts and that are all evenly spread and here's our finished cake so make sure you like comment and subscribe and enjoy it.